Betsy, I was uh, telling some folks the other day when I was, I knew we were doing this story, my sports career in high school ended, I think, in, in eighth grade. So <laughs> I, I didn't have to worry about that. But uh, you know what? I'm over it. There you go. I'm not bitter. So if we reboot the old softball team for the station, are you in? I'm in. Definitely. Ooh. Why not? Maybe something left. I'll do it. You're on the record. That's good. <laughs> All right. Now we just need to get that season going, <laughs> get rid of this pandemic and let it happen. Uh, to start the day tomorrow, by the way, there's this whole weather thing happening. Uh, scattered rain and rumbles are going to be around. Temperatures will be in the 70s. It's going to be a muggy start to the day. We'll make it up to about 80 or so in the afternoon. Some sun peaks, but the storms will refire and then begin to head south through the latter part of the day. Still 80 degrees right now at Mansfield, friends. It's 81 at the Cuyahoga County Airport on the east side. Very warm air in place. There's a little bit of humidity that's uh, been on the rise through the evening as well. It wasn't too bad during the day, but once we get into that nighttime cooling, kind of helps to ring things out a bit. Brand new severe thunderstorm watch just issued here in southern Michigan. We're going to put this story together for you, but uh, we were watching these thunderstorms back in Minnesota and western Wisconsin at 6 o'clock. Now they continue to move to the east. We've been watching some wind gust potential. These thunderstorms are running through a pretty interesting part of the atmosphere. I'm going to show you a very brightly colored map. There you see it. It looks crazy, right? Well, what this is, this is convective available potential energy. This is on the Betsy Kling index, the juju in the atmosphere, right? This is one of the things that kind of goes into all of the forecasting for severe storms. And when you start talking about CAPE, convective available potential energy, what you're looking at is the available energy that that upward motion would be able to provide to the air. So in other words, if we start to get an updraft from a thunderstorm, it's going to be propelled upward. And you can see we have a high CAPE area here in western Michigan that just so happens to be where that brand new severe thunderstorm watches and we have thunderstorms entering into that zone. That being said, if you look downstream here into Ohio, we start to pick up a little bit of that high cape here east of Cleveland. So the atmosphere is energized. I don't think this is a very scary situation for us. I don't know that we're going to have any watches or whatnot, but this is a heads up. Later tonight, we're probably going to have some thunderstorms that are rumbling through. Let's take a look at your national design mark, hour by hour forecast. We've been watching this through the evening. Doesn't look too crazy yet, does it? Well, we're probably going to see the leftovers of whatever is firing off to the west of us. They're still several hours away. Uh, but more importantly than that, what is left of the thunderstorms that are north of us tonight will kind of drift in here and provide just a little spark that may help to get more thunderstorms started tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures are going to be varied. We're probably going to be mid 80s farther south again, 70s on the lakeshore. But once these storms fire and wherever they fire, you know, could be north, south, east, west, they will then start to move south as we go through the latter part of the afternoon into the evening. And then we'll be clearing out with some lingering storm chances that uh, last into Thursday. Got to update you on Cristobal. This is a tropical storm. It's been uh, strengthening here in the southern Bay of Campeche. Watch what happens to this thing. It just kind of drifts around, does its own thing, and then finally gets some wheels and begins to move up toward the coast of Louisiana by Sunday evening. Our entire forecast as far as heat and then next week rain chances is dependent upon that storm. Universal Windows Direct Forecast, we're going to see warming temperatures as we head through the rest of the week. Thunderstorm chances on Friday with another front, cooler and drier for the weekend. And then as we look into next week, we're going to be keeping a close eye on Cristobal if indeed that storm comes north. We'll have more coming up.